Hello and welcome back. Today I want to show you how I made this delicious chile reno casserole. This is perfect for any time of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. I like mine with super extra extra cheese as you can tell. So if you want to learn how to make this, I'll show you right now. Getting started, I am going to be roasting these chilies in my air fryer. To me, it's just easier that way and it is faster. But go ahead and use your oven or you can also roast them on a comal on top of your stove. I'm going to just arrange these here and I will be using eight. I know it doesn't show eight on here, but I did these and then after that I did the other two. And I'm going to rub this these with some olive oil and that just helps to have easy peeling after they are roasted and once i have rubbed the olive oil all on there i am going to pop this in my air fryer i do 10 minutes one side and then i flip them over and then i do another 10 minutes so while those are getting roasted in this bowl i'm going to be adding the spices which is flour onion powder garlic powder paprika pepper, chicken noir, and salt to taste. Like always, all the ingredients will be posted down on the description box. And I'm going to whisk that, set this aside, and in another bowl, I'm going to add five large eggs and half a cup of milk. I'm going to give that a good whisk. And then I will be adding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and giving this a good whisk also. And what I did was just put it in this measuring cup just so it'll be easy to pour later on. And now for the cheese, I will be using some mozzarella and some cheddar. Feel free to use any kind of cheese that you like. Once the chilies have been roasted, I am going to be adding them to a plastic bag. And we need to let these sweat. So I leave them alone for approximately 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, as you can see, it is easier to take off the skin. So I'm just going to be taking off the skin and the stem off of all the chilies and I'm also going to be deseeding them. I do not take out all of the seeds because I do like a little bit of spice in my chile reno casserole, but that is totally up to you. And another way that you can take off the skin is with the paper towel. So I'm just going to continue to do this with the rest of my chilies.
And now I'll be using an eight by eight baking dish. I'm going to spray it with, um, what I did spray it with is avocado oil spray, but you can use any cooking spray that you like. And this is how I do it. I just lay down some of the chilies and then I add some of that mixture and then I add the cheese. It's up to you how many layers you want. Most people just do two, I do three. So this is the first layer and then just repeat the process with the rest of the layers that you're gonna do. And as you can see, this recipe, although it's super delicious and very requested by my family, it's easy to make. So this is a quick, easy, delicious dinner. Or it could be breakfast, like I said, or lunch. But either way, it's really good. Now, I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And here I'm just going to be doing my last layer. Now, I will be baking this from 25 to 30 minutes. Sometimes it does, sometimes it'll take an extra five minutes. Now, it really just depends on your oven temperature, but you want to make sure that you cook it long enough so that the egg cooks. You don't want raw egg in there. And once it's done, there you go. All that cheese, wow. So we ended up having this with some refried beans and some rice, but you can serve it with whatever side dish that you want. And that is how you made a chile reno casserole. I hope that you like this video. I hope that you make this recipe. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you later.